This year's Super Bowl Grand Prix may not happen because of funding issues. That's the word from event organizers. SNN local news reporter Grant Boxiner has more on why the event is in limbo and what the Sarasota County Commission has to do with it. Over the last 29 years, the Super Bowl Grand Prix Festival off the Sarasota coast has become a 4th of July tradition for thousands. Now festival director Lucy Nicandri says a lack of funding may put this year's event in jeopardy. The charity has had to fund the major expense, which is a sanction fee of $79,200 to put on a safe race. That encompasses a Coast Guard permit. Um, marine mammal watches, medical and rescue staff. McCandry asked the Sarasota County Commission for $100,000 to offset rising overhead costs for the event. The commission, though, authorized a total of $28,500. I'm disappointed. I think it's a big blow to the community if we lose this event. You know, having had it here for, what, 29 years. It's kind of expected by the community. It's a free event. It's a great family event. McCandry says the public funding can be justified by the local economic impact of the event. Last year, 14.3 million was our economic impact and over 13,000 room nights. Commissioner Joe Barbetta pushed to fund a little more than $80,000 for the festival. I think we get tenfold back on that just in sales tax and tourist tax collections let alone the benefits to all of our merchants and hoteliers and businesses. Coupled with the exposure, it's a 10-day event. And a major concern for the festival is the rapid reduction in support for its charity. Over the last two years, the event's contribution to the Suncoast Charity